he interviewing the whole Philly. How y'all feel about that shit? Like, I'm, he starting this, I'm, I'm, just, bro. I'm just mad because at the end of the day, bro, he waited to the next to, to try to, you feel me? Like, he lining us up. You try, like, yeah. He just I've been, had cuts. I've been lined up way worse than this. No, but this is, this is bad. This bad, this is, bro. Like, we were just sticking together. Philly was just sticking together. Bro, we too fell to do. I was keeping it light with you. All of who don't like you, who got a story about how you now I'm gonna interview them all. Thank you. Quilly, come through. Show your face. Show your face, please. With sugar on top. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, things are getting pretty interesting in Philly these days. After it seemed like the whole Philly is about to start doing interviews with DJ Academics. Now I've been seeing people make comments about Academics doing interviews with Philly artists. And some think that Academics is just trolling, trying to get under Meek Mill's skin. And that may be the case because we do know that academics is the top troll. However, on the flip side of things, this is another way that other Philly artists can properly get the recognition that they deserve. Whether academics is trying to troll Meek Mill or not, this is a time where whoever's going up there can take advantage of the situation and use this as an opportunity to go up by putting out music and gaining a new audience. Now, whether people agree with who academics decide to bring up there and who he doesn't, that's just another discussion. However, once again, whoever decides to go up there, hopefully they will take full advantage of the opportunity, being that Academics fairly has a huge platform. Now, I know Academics also been a fan of OT7 Kwani, and he mentioned him on numerous occasions and even played some of his music before. But for some reason, he just never did an interview with him or nothing. Most people are assuming it's due to what Academics have recently exposed when he alleged that Meek secretly has Philly artists blackballed behind the scenes and they don't even know it. This is the same assumption that sparked the beef back up between Meek and Poundside Pop recently that have gotten way out of hand and even went as far as threats being made where three people have been shot in Zoo Gang neighborhood and of course rumors started flying about where it came from. Nonetheless, DJ Academics have been catching flack for his recent guest that he decided to bring up there after he would repost pictures of him and Philly artist Quilly Mills. Now, if y'all know anything about Quilly Mills, he's another rapper from Philly that has gotten into it with Meek Mills in the past over the years. And although Quilly can actually rap, it's his social media antics and his situations in the street that has gotten him a bad rep. Not to mention his obvious drug usage that he has even admitted to on social media. Through it all, Quilly still remained to be known on that mic. I personally think in this interview with DJ Academics, they're more so going to be talking about the drama and controversy between Quilly and Meek Mill. Now, Quilly Mills would repost a picture of him at Academics to his Instagram and caption it saying, quote, They ain't going to like none of this. Laughing emojis. Fingers crossed emojis at Academics. Then Quilly would repost an old tweet of his from earlier this month where he would say, quote, They talking about don't go up there and draw. My middle name etch a sketch. For y'all that don't know what that is, that's like a toy from back in the days when you were able to draw and whatever. It was kind of fun. But then he would caption it saying, quote, this tweet aged well. Now, knowing Quilly and how he go off on social media on his own accounts, <laughs> I'm more than sure he got in that interview and went off. And I'm sure it's definitely going to be entertaining. But once again, I hope Quilly actually take advantage of this opportunity rather than just use it for controversy, drama, and trolling. Now, Poundside Pop will also take to his Instagram story to address everyone that has something to say to DJ Academics for interviewing another Philly artist that has a problem with Meek Mill. He would say, quote, I hate how everybody make it seem like at Academics doing something wrong. 
He told y'all in the interview he wanted to interview rappers from the city, but it was a rapper who dated Nicki that was blackballed. Now let's get into a few tweets where people had something to say in response to academics interviewing Quilly Mills. One person would say, quote, It's gonna be a funny interview, but I hate this for the city. Y'all letting act nut A play Philly against each other? Wow. Hands over face emoji. Another person would say, quote, Letting that man use you like a pawn? Laughing emoji. Another person would say, quote, I feel y'all being happy for boy because he from y'all city, but I don't think this is gonna do nothing for his career. Might get him more blackballed than he is. Act would have never interviewed him if he wasn't beefing with me. Hmm. Another person would say, quote, Act wasn't effing with Philly before Meek beef. Chicago cooked and he helped that beef in Chicago escalate by having that platform now, he doing it to Philly. Ayo, these N-words don't even want the money, they want the fame. Philly ain't been sturdy since Beans. All these weird ad young bulls normalizing a lot of weird-ish. He literally using these bulls as pawns. Laughing emojis, dummies. Now in a nutshell, people on social media are accusing academics of only interviewing Philly rappers that have problems with Meek Mill instead of interviewing more rappers from the city who also got motion going on, whether it's musically or talent-wise. Poundside Pop is saying that whoever Act chose to interview is people he been wanting to interview, but like he stated before, he couldn't because Meek had these guys blackballed. Now it's this big back and forth going on because you got one group of people thinking that Act is only interviewing these people to troll Meek Mill. Pretty much saying that he's only interviewing these guys because they have a problem with Meek Mill. It's not because of their talent. It's not because of the motion that they got going on musically. It's not because none of that. He's simply just interviewing them to troll Meek Mill. But then you have another group of people saying no. He told y'all why he's not interviewing or he hasn't been interviewing these guys. It's because Meek Mill secretly had them blackballed behind the scenes. Now I want y'all to get in the comments and let me know what y'all think is true. Do y'all think that he's pretty much just giving these guys a platform because they all have problems with Meek Mill? Or do y'all think that he was being genuine and stating that Meek Mill had them blackballed low key so he couldn't interview them? Now, it kind of makes no sense to me, the whole blackballing thing, because I know Ak and Meek been at odds for quite some time now. So I was wondering why he just didn't decide to interview these guys before. You know, like what's the difference between now and then? I don't know, that's just a thought of mine. But to be honest with y'all, there's no rules in war. You know, whether it's true or not, y'all have to remember, like I stated earlier, academics is the top troll. <laughs> and what makes it even worse is that he has a core audience and he actually is smart. You know, he plays chess. Is academic just interviewing these guys that have problems with Meek? Maybe so. Is he making it seem like he wants to give Philly artists recognition just to get Philly on his side, but really just trying to troll Meek in the process? Maybe so. But like I said before, there's no rules in war. He's probably just playing chess. And if these guys could use this to their advantage, it'll be a win-win for both parties. You know? However, I'm more than sure DJ Academics just trying to troll, you know, and if he really wanted to do something, he would have been interviewed OT7 Kwan, you know, being that he's one of the top guys from the city right now buzzing uh, when it comes to the music, because it was a point in time where Leaf and OT7 Kwan was them guys, you know, and still is. It's just that Leaf Ward got arrested, unfortunately, and um, there goes that, you know, but right now Kwan holding it down, so it is what it is. But anyway, let's see where this goes. Um, as far as Meek is concerned, Meek definitely been on a roll out of all this, um, where people were even saying that Meek needs his phone taken from him because he's doing the most. You know, I personally feel that Meek loves highlighting that he's rich and he's on another level, but somehow he always allowed the people he says isn't on his level to get him out of position. You know, some things aren't even worth responding to when you are on a certain level in life. We see Meek taking videos of him driving through Philly and just doing the most online. What is that going to prove? <laughs> you know, he's at a point where he doesn't have to do all that. He doesn't have to prove nothing. He did what most of these guys are trying to do, which is get out the hood successfully and provide for your family. But for some reason, he has to prove a point that I guess he's about that life. I don't know. But let me tell you one thing. The more you entertain the circus, the more you begin looking like a clown as well. 
So he should definitely be mindful of that. But um, anyway, y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think DJ Academics is trying to troll by interviewing all these Philly rappers all of a sudden? Or do y'all think he's being genuine and just providing a big platform for these other Philly artists to showcase their talent? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out. <laughs>